Buildex Metro fire engine. We're going to be comparing it with Lego and other brands, but first, ladder lifts, extends, and rotates. It doesn't do any of that. We'll get to that in a minute. So this set is based off of a Gyre Star set with some changes to make it cheaper. The ladder being one of the main things that's changed and why it's a bit of a problem in the set, we'll get to that in a minute. But there's the differences. You can see the two obviously very similar. And here it is. Let's look at the top of it. Bottom of it. Quite well built. Better than some of the other models in the range. Opening doors there. On each side. Little fire hydrant. This is supposed to be a hose. Back doors here. Open up. Outriggers. What you might end up doing is ripping pieces off before you actually move what's actually connected to it. So like here, but when you try to pull it off, you basically just pulling off the part because the clutch power is so strong and stiff on these bars. That's a little bit of a problem. Got this nice uh, lift thing here. Same as the Lego one, very similar. Take the top off. The seat's one stud back. These new figures, which we'll have a look at in a minute, take one extra stud when sitting down because their legs are slightly longer than Lego. But nice wheels on the dry star one. It has its own sort of wheels, but uh, this one is having the very Lego-like wheels. In fact, they're almost identical. Overall, it's well built, it's gonna hold together. So originally when I built it, the ladder was like this. It says it can extend, but it can't extend. Connected here with two skeleton arms. They're used to connect this together. But that. And then I'm gonna put this on the end there. Like that. Modification complete. That here is only held on by one clip. So most of the parts on here are copying Lego. Nearly all of it is pretty much Lego copied, apart from this, which is slightly different from the Lego one. Here it is, next to some other brands. It's the best lock, Wilco Blocks, which is made by Woma and Goody. The value of this is five pounds if you take it away from the rest of the set, or was five pounds, and this was three pounds. I would say that this one here, Wilco set, very similar design, nice quality. And then this one has plastic wheels, so this is better quality parts in this one. And there were some nice specialised pieces in there, like a cat, for example. So the designs are sometimes better than Lego. So they've got this nice little feature there. The Lego-like window screen and the Lego-like wheels. So there's similar parts. And then it's a smaller set, but three pounds, lower quality parts, lower quality plastic. They varied, very blocky and not that great. Bring it into context of value. So what can you get from Lego for about five pounds? This is about five pounds worth of Lego. What are you gonna get for around 20 pounds? So that's what we're looking at for 20 pounds from Lego. All official sets, these two have been modified a little bit. So we'll keep these two sets on the screen because we've got a ladder function, very similar to the Gyre Star set. Let's extend all the ladders. There you go, there's all our ladders extended. Can it hold a figure though up there in that basket? It can, but at a complete vertical angle because I've only got it sitting on that one stud there. But it could still work if, if a child's careful with this one. If you've got it the way I've set up here. Remember it is five pounds, so these are four times the price in Lego. But you're holding up quite well. This isn't bad at all. It's not gonna fall apart. Got six wheels instead of four, so that's another bonus. I think we are getting a nice truck. The same amount of fun, mostly, as a Lego one would. Another final 360. And let's look at the minifigures. Because we only get one figure with this set. Should be noted, when you get a 20 pound set from Lego or some, something of the equivalent, you normally get more than one figure. So there he is, next to a Lego figure and a previous Buildex figure from Poundland. Block Tetch, big useless hands. And then the best lock, the lowest quality of the bunch, 
Maybe this close up. No articulation on the legs, apart from bending like that. The hands don't move. They're very similar to this troll. At there is a Lego copy. And the hat doesn't quite fit on the head properly because the, his ears get in the way. It's good quality. I'm not sure I really like the design all that much. You see his legs there. They take up one extra stud to sit down. And the seat in here is one stud back. It is sitting in there. It's easy to get him in and out because this just comes off quite easily. Nice close-up view of the Poundland Build X fire engine. Five pounds. Very good. I like it. Only problem is with this ladder, but not a huge problem. Still usable. There you go. There it is.